People of God, praise the Lord. Last week Sunday, when Major talk, talked about the project, we came and we collected sand. I went to the workshop on Tuesday, I spread it at the workshop, and I just said, God bless this, my shop. May there be open doors. On Friday, on, in the morning, they called, my landlord was going to school. He called his son that he should tell me that I should run and come to the market, that my marketplace is, is on fire. So when I was confused, I told the boy that it's a lie. Then on entering the house, my husband had an accident. He was going to the hospital. He also called me and said I should run and come, that the, that the market is catching fire. So when I took the bike and went to the marketplace, I stood near Nanga Bakery because I was afraid. The flames made me to be afraid. I started crying. That way my marketplace is on fire. So the girl there told me that, Madam, you know the one that have that deco shop? Some boys have already broke the place that was catching fire. It's no more on fire. Why are you crying? I asked her, so my shop is not burned. Everything inside my shop was secured. I just want to thank God. And I want to also advise viewers and all those that are in church, when they talk about project, don't think about something that is too small. Don't even think that the thing is too little. Because what I gave on that day, I gave 1,000 francs. But God had to secure my shop for me. I just want to thank Major and also thank God for doing this in my life. May God continue to bless you and protect you. People of God, praise the Lord. Praise Him again. Yes, my name is Kum Christopher and I can remember so many things, but let me be just precise because there was a time Major One gave the first prophecy about the car between me and Mani. That he saw Mani came and just opened the car on the parking lot and I was very angry. That was true. How can it be? And then another prophecy came. He asked me, they should call for me outside. But as they went and called for me, I was coming and I was making like this. He said, what are you doing? I did not say anything. I was just making my hand and he said, go, 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 go. I just understood. It was between me and him. The other one again, he asked, have you ever testified? I said, no, Major One. Say said, you will testify here. Okay. So an incident came. Somebody just came to me and said, there's a car for a deal. I said, I must go in. With nothing. I had nothing. I have no account. But I went. But before going, I said, let me consult my father in the Lord and get God's message about this issue. So as I was going down, I saw Major One. I said, Major, there's somebody that just called me and that person is talking about. I said, no, wait, hold it there. Call for me, Mama. They went and they called Mama. I was, Mama was coming out. She came again, looked at me with a smile. I just knew that that smile has concluded everything. So, Major, Major One asked Mama, there are two things you have discussed about this man. One, Mama said, Motu. Two, Mama said, Moni. I went down on my knees and I said, God, that yoke of bondage has been broken from today. Testimony upon testimony upon testimony will be coming for my life. And many of those who work in God's vineyard, they must testify. Because some people have tested me in town. Every day I live and come here, some will ask me, is it going? I say, it go. Because they see me going always that way. All the time, church, church, church. That church, it go, so I say, it go. Another one told me, the day I shall see what you will bring from that place, I will follow you there. I believe that one will follow me now to come to this place. And as Major One concluded by saying, go and come back now, Major One have gone, and this is the key. I've come. I've come, Major One. This is the key. Let me tell you something. On that day, he came, he was coming close to my, my, my house. I just looked at him. He started talking about a car as a witch. Breaking that day, the Lord showed me a vision. Every vision when I get up, I discuss with my beloved wife. So sweet. As I got up, I told her, I said, Mama, there's something you don't show me about Christopher, a car and money. As he came, he was talking to me. I said, wait, Mama, come. Mama came out. I said, tell me, what did we discuss this morning about Christopher? I didn't want to begin it. Mama said, car and money. When he got down on his knees, all the workers behind him, they were confused. 
Your level will skip. Your level will skip. Who is claiming this prophecy? This testimony. You will buy a car. You will buy a car. Put your hands together for Jehovah. Ah. Amen. When you love me and I love you, I see you in my vision. Time is coming before you come. You want, I say, which? Call me this person. You begin to wonder what is happening. I'm coming to tell somebody something, and he's the one telling me. At any moment from now, I will start seeing you in my vision. Praise God. We are at the end of testimonies for today. It's so sweet. Can we put our hands together for Jehovah? Put your hands together for Jehovah. Then I look at your neighbor. Say you will be the next. Say you shall be the next. Say we must testify. Here. Say here. Say here. Say here. Amen.